actually really excited to do this video because I love my little car and um, if you haven't seen my face before I'm Safi and this is my YouTube channel so I thought I'd give you a little tour inside my car um, and it's really hot in here so I'm just going to put the window down if I just put my ignition on we turn the music off um and so i'm really excited to do this car tour put the window up a bit there we are um so this is actually not my first car it's my second car um and the reason for that is because i did have an accident an incident in my first car and it had to be written off i might do an in-depth video about that but um yeah that's why i haven't got my first car but it was a fiat 500 and it was white on the outside well off white that's what my car is so now i've got this one and it's just a bit different it's got red interior inside but in terms of how they're like to drive i actually really enjoy driving them some people say they're not very nice to drive um but this is a 1.2 engine by the way um and i really enjoy driving it um the only thing I would say is it's not the smoothest of cars, no, but I haven't driven any other car, so I don't really know. Um, but this one feels a lot more smoother than the other one I had originally. So I'm actually really happy with how that's turned out because um, I wasn't sure how the engine just sounds newer and stuff. So yeah even though this is an older version so i've got a 2008 plate um and yeah so i'll start by showing you the keys i'm just going to put my seat back a bit so i have some more room so my keys i just have the normal fiat 500 car key i have a pom pom on sorry i just ran inside to get my phone so I'm really out of breath. I've got this like headphone splitter, which is quite useful sometimes. I got my Simply Gym um, card. I've got like a locker key. I don't even need that anymore. I've got this flip flop that says Safi on it, um, and then I got my house key. So this is the steering wheel. It's really nice and big, and yeah, I really like the steering wheel. And then I'm just going to show you what's on here so that is like yeah i'd never use that i don't really know what it is um then i got this little dog that my friend grace brought for me ages ago i just keep that with me so that's been many miles with me that little dog um i just keep that in there and then so here it's got the time here the date and then miles and here is the oil here it's the petrol um, and then obviously that tells you the oil that tells you you got your handbrake on and that I don't know what that is that's the seatbelt sign obviously and I don't know what that plus minus is up there and then this is the speed monitor um, and it's really easy to see how fast you're going because it just goes up when you start driving so that's what's in that little section so this is what you use to do the back window <laughs> and then obviously you do your like windscreen wash so you put it forward um, to do the windscreen um, and then also you do it up and down to do the intermittent and then like fast so you just keep going up with that one so that's what that's for and then obviously um the indicators and that is you do that for main beam then you push it forward for full beam and um yeah that's what's on that one and then over here obviously the air control thing so here is the city mode and you use that if you're in night like, stop and start traffic it makes the steering lighter and also it's good for if you're parking in tight corners so that was just really awkward i had to stop the camera because um 
someone just saw me filming um yeah <laughs> so that's obviously has a warning lights and then they're my fog lights um this is the um air conditioning ac and the heating so you turn it up for the heating and that's what power you want it on then that's how you want it around the car so i don't really know that doesn't make much of a difference and then that's where you want the air distributed so i usually have it like on my chest area and then my feet um that's if the um windscreens like misted up and you need to demist it so you can put the heat on and that um i don't actually know what that's for <laughs> and then these are the window controls um this is the gear stick and i really like this because it's really high up compared to other cars which makes it really easy for when you're just driving and um yeah that's really nice and to go in reverse um people might not know but you pull that up and then go into reverse um and yeah and so on this side i haven't actually shown you what um that is so door handle obviously and then here in um, this changes your mirrors um, on the outside um i just got some chewing gum and then i've got this little um bag down here so if i show you what's in here so i've just got some hand gel and then i've got some hand cream like a mirror these are just like little essential things and then i've also got a batiste dry shampoo so that's in case i'm going to spruce myself up in the car i just find that quite handy to have down there i have got my phone um to put into my orcs so oh yeah and also i put my phone in here if i'm using my sat nav or listening to music through my orcs so this is through my orcs let me just turn the volume up so if i turn that up um so these are just my songs on my phone um so yeah um that's how the orcs works and you know that it's saying orcs because you just see that on the screen and you change that by pressing cd I'm gonna stop now don't want to get copyright so yeah that's how the aux works and it's really useful actually um having that lead i had to have that installed up through my car um by a mechanic and they're quite easy to get installed i just had to switch my engine on for that um and then i've got some mentos gum chewing gum and also this one um i've just got two types and then i've got a nivea lip that i just keep down there then i've also got this um cigarette lighter um usb port which i keep my lead for that in there in case i want to charge my phone and then i also have some random um parking tickets in that pocket as well there's my water bottle for when i go to a gym as well so over here i have cd i have sweets so what do i have i have frutella and then well, there's original bought them and the other day i haven't eaten them yet um and they're for guests so anyone who's comes in my car is very lucky because they have food um and then i have some very old cds little mix salute at l21 now 74 what else do i have now that's what i call music ellie golden these wipes just if something goes wrong in my car i have to wipe it up if i mention but i have this jelly belly um i think it's cherry air freshener then that's my mirror there um and then in the back it looks like this so when people sit in here and i ask them is there a lot of room i've never actually um sat in the i've sat in the back of my car but i've not been driven um in the back of my car i'm like is there any room and they're like yeah it's actually quite spacious so that's what people might be thinking about is the fiat 500 quite spacious um but yes the answer to that is yeah and so the last thing to show you is inside my boot so i am actually having to hold this up because well a lot of wind <laughs> so basically um 
my car, the springs have broke on the boot, so my dad's getting that fixed soon. So this is gonna be super hard to film. So I'm currently like ducking in my car, <laughs> holding the boot, boot up by my back, which isn't convenient, but oh well. So I've got a random torch there. I don't know why that's there, just in case I get stranded in the dark somewhere. Um, and then I've got my Fiat 500 um, manual handbook. Um, I always keep a thing in here so if you're ever in need of like a pen and paper and also if you come into an accident you have to write your details that's always handy to have um i have an umbrella i always keep in here um then i also have um this which is full of like first aid stuff um that i might need and like um paracetamol and stuff like that so i would advise you to um do a little like first aid kit for your car um, which is really useful and then I also have um like a big shopping bag so this like flamingo one I like this because it's um like the cancer um, research sign thing unite band um I just have some spare lavender air fresheners I don't really use that because they don't match my car that's the reason <laughs> and then I have a pink blanket and um another like reusable shopping bag um so that's what i have in my boot and usually i might have some like shopping bags or something um but at the moment that's all i have in there so yes apart from people staring at me filming this i had a really fun time filming it and i've been driving since um around march um there's another person i don't know if she's gonna look is she no, she didn't see me. It's all fine. <laughs> um, and yeah, I got my car in March, so I've been driving a while. Um, I actually passed at the end of Feb though. And yeah, I'm really enjoying driving. Um, apart from my incident I had, I am getting more confident. And yeah, you learn from your mistakes. So never worry, guys, if you have had like an incident or an accident or something at least no one was hurt that's the main thing and you learn from your mistakes so that's all i would say about that i really like my car and if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and um please subscribe because i'm trying to get to 100 subscribers and if i do that by the end of the year that would make my day so um yeah honestly i have so many plans for future videos i'm off to uni next week um so if you did enjoy please give a thumbs up and subscribe because it would mean so much to me see you soon bye